Hi, and welcome back to Maki. In today's video, we will show you how to draw diagrams for confluence using the Maki app. First, you will have to install Maki for confluence. Once finished, you can now click on the app tab and access Maki. From the Maki dashboard, click add project to start a new design. Next, you will decide which type of project you want. You can either choose private or public and don't forget to give this project a name. Then click save and you will be taken to the new project. Now you can locate diagrams on the left sidebar menu. From here, you can choose what kind of designs or elements you want to use. You can click on that element and drag it to the canvas on your screen. For the diagram components, you can draw connectors easily to establish their connection or relationship with one another. To create a connector, click on the diagram component that you have just added to the design, hover on an arrow to the direction you want your next component to appear, drag a line and then make a connection. Maki also supports the next shape suggestion that automatically suggests or recommends the next shapes or elements to your diagrams. This allows you to draw connections among diagram components with ease. Moreover, you can also change the style of these connectors by clicking on them. From their shapes to their tails and heads, you can change them to your preferences with ease. At the moment, the Maki app supports various diagram collections at your fingertips, from flowcharts, network, cloud, UML, ERD, and many more to come in the future. So remember to stay tuned with us for more new updates. What makes this app special is the ability to integrate Maki pages of design to your Confluence page with ease. Here is how to insert a Maki page into Confluence. First, go to your Confluence page where you want to insert your diagrams. Then, click Edit and choose Insert. Now search for Maki and click on it. At this point, you can see the app will pop up and show the diagram that you have just created earlier. Click on the diagram you want to insert. Once the app completes loading, you can make any adjustments as needed. Then click on the Publish button and this Maki page will be inserted into your Confluence page. And that's how you use Maki to draw diagrams for Confluence. Fascinating, right? If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned with us. And if you enjoy using Maki, please leave a review for us on the marketplace. It helps us improve Maki even more. See you next time.